Hi, my name is Brian McNally and this is my 31st coaching log on the Uclan Coaching Experience module. Um, today I'm going to look at something that I've done quite a lot of recently uh, through Preston North End, through my own motivation um, and through my UEFA B course as well, um, is CPD events and how they've impacted me. So CPD events are, in my terms, something that helps me develop my learning uh, gives me new ideas, allows me to meet new people, allows me to, you know, take snapshots of how other experts, in this case, we are, um, deliver and how they communicate to the kids, how they the kids, how do they motivate the kids, you know, why are they doing what they do. Uh, for example, I've been on two recent CPD courses, one delivered by Ian Bateman, the Futsal England head coach. Um, who obviously was big around futsal and and how it how it's adapts into our football game, um, and another one by Pete Sturgis, who is the foundation phase FA kind of head coach, head director of it, where he looked at how we maximise engagement and you know different ways of of implementing the same motivation and same session objective, but but obviously put forward different ways. So what I learned from them was that there's no real right or wrong answer when you're delivering a session. Um, you're free. You know you're free and you you promote you push to go and explore and try new things. And if they don't go right, you you correct them or you try it again next session with a different outcome or a different objective. And I feel like that was one of the most valuable points that I took away because they make mistakes and they you know they embrace it in a way they laugh it off and, and change what they're doing or it's adapted in a, in, a, in some sort of way and it's really really good to see that you know the people at the highest level don't get it right every time and that it brings you this reality check that you know when you get stuff wrong it's not a problem you just fix it and and you know there's never really a right or wrong answer to what you're doing as long as you can back up why you're doing it you know with relevance to the game but you can't go wrong really so another key aspect that I looked at was how I have applied and adapted it kind of the CPD events to my own coaching and um, looking at some research done by Crowd and Vincent in 2018 I found that facilitating the athlete's contribution to the learning environment in order to encourage decision making from the players is really complex and um, highlighting that transferring kind of what I saw from a perfect environment to your own comp uh, environment can be quite tough at sometimes. It's made harder when you try and take. So I've seen coaches and myself take sessions from CPD events and try and implement them as they were, but you've got to remember that the CPD event is the perfect environment with the perfect amount of players and the you know the the best standard of players in in the region. And that when I have when I take that back down to the under sixes, it's not going to look the same. We're going to have kids who emotions are through the roof one day, and and others who are who are you know kind of struggling to even get to training because they don't want to come, or you know they're a bit tired, little stuff like that, which didn't didn't happen in the CPD event because you know the environment was perfect, everyone was there to to take part. So kind of transferring that session I have to understand my coaching um, kind of context so understanding that they're five years younger they're only just getting into football you know we're teaching them as they we're te they're we're learning as they're learning because this is something we've barely done before with under sixes so we're learning off what they learn about how they learn so it's really really tough to translate that perfect environment into our into our environment as it was you need to adapt it to your to your own context and kind of tying that overall towards the cpd events i feel like they're really really beneficial however they don't really give much structure they, they prompt some questions about how could we translate this into your age group but there's not enough to say because some of the goalkeepers are like five foot five at under 11 under 12 compared to when i have them under sixes when they're they're absolutely tiny it doesn't doesn't translate very well so more 
proactiveness from the co the CPD leaders to go, this is how we could translate it, this is why, this is the terminology you'd use, could be really beneficial. But what I've learned from them is that, you know, I don't be afraid to make mistakes as a coach and, and get it wrong because you'll learn from it and you'll you'll correct it and you'll become a better coach. Um, you know, I'm really desperate to be a better coach and to help my players learn. And if I encourage them to trial and error, so I should encourage myself to trial and error. And I feel like that's my message for the forthcoming few weeks and, and I'm in full ex kind of excited to see where it takes me.